Come gather around the baptismal. The good stuff is about to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, while we get settled here, let me just give you some brief instructions. First and foremost, this is going to be a time to be quiet. That's when I'm talking. When I'm talking, we be quiet. And then, when I stop talking, I'm going to be like, baptized name, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. That's when you get lit, all right? So we're going to practice this real quick here. Okay, this is the quiet part. That was actually pretty good for a giant crowd, so well done, guys. All right, now, this is the point where we get lit. Get lit! Yeah! All right, all right, that's good, that's good. Um, that's actually, solid, solid performance, as I should expect after the second service. You guys are eager to go to lunch, show the hunger, hunger energy. So good. All right, guys, so let me just do a quick eye check with the team. Are we good to go, buddy? Okay. All right, so um, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to pray for us. We're going to kick this thing up, and let's just have some fun. Dearly Father, Lord, thank you so much. Um, we are so blessed to gather here um, in your name under your resurrection, God. We have life because of you, God, and so today we celebrate that. We enjoy that. We gather for excitement, for joy, and for the, the praise of your glorious name. So bless this time. Bless this moment, Lord. Let this be a party that, just green, that brings great glory to you. For your name, for your glory, Father. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. Yeah, now comes the dunking. That's the, that's the good part. All right, so first on our list today is... It takes a second to load on my phone. All right. Hey, Law. Alright guys, so what I'm going to be doing while they're getting settled is I'm going to tell you a bit about their testimony. So, there's this truth about knowing Christ and it is simply this, that before you don't know the truth and when you experience Christ and you have him as your Lord and Savior, you do, you get that. And this is Ayla's story. Before Christ, she didn't know right from wrong. She heard what people said, she, she knew what she was told, but she didn't know it. But when she did accept Christ, it all made sense. And so, based on your profession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go! Christian! All right, guys, so we're so it's always so interesting to know what 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 the need is that grabs people about Christ. And so for Kristen, it was quite sorry for Christian. It was simply this emptiness. There's this phrase that we call Christ. We say he is sufficient. He fills all that we know and we need. He he, he hits that spot that we just can't get to. And so. This is Christian's story. Before Christ, he was empty. He was without that. But after Christ, since Christ, he feels full. So based on your profession of faith, we baptize the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> All right, Trisha, come on up. All right, guys, this is Trisha Gabrielson. And so we are so excited. We are so excited that she's here today. Yeah, do, Trisha, do we need more ice cubes? We can get some more. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It should, be, it should wake you up. All right, baptism should do that. All right, so Trisha's story is like some of yours today. Is that some of you had to go through a lot of hard stuff before you were fully able to accept the grace and the mercy of God. And this is Trisha's story. She's been going to church for a while, like many of you have, like many of us have.
But going to church doesn't necessarily make you a Christian. And so God had to wrench her heart away from her own hands. And so she, she would get to a point, she'd go, God, it is yours. I follow you. I love you. You are truly Lord and Savior. And so Trisha, based on your profession of faith, we baptize in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Get lit! All right. Sorry, I'm just jamming out now. I'm just liking the tunes. It's on my playlist, so I should like them. All right. That should be. This is Ashley, friends. And so. It's so interesting. Baptism is such a beautiful story. It look, you get the, sim the, the symbolism of the resurrection. You go down under, but you come up a new person, new life. But you don't just come up alone. You see, we are all here as a family. We're partying because we're a family. And Ashley, when she gets baptized, she got brought up into this family. And this is what it means to be a believer. Is that you are no longer alone. You are no longer by yourself. And this is her story. She thought long ago that you could go to church, but you, you didn't have to go to church to be a believer. But you need the family. And so, based on your profession of faith, based on the fellowship and the fruit of the life that we've seen, we baptize in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Get lit! All right, Nick, come on up. Nick, you ready for this, dude? A little cold? Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. All right, so Nick has another type of story, and hopefully you're getting this picture that God draws all types and in all sorts of ways. So Nick has had a privilege that he's been, was born in a Christian family, brought up in Christian context, and some of us never had that, and some of us did. And so God has shown blessing upon blessing upon him. But going, being a part of a family, and being part of a church doesn't make you a believer anymore. Being in a garage makes you a car. <laughs> and so, Nick made the decision. He goes, no, no, no. This isn't enough. It needs to be Jesus. It needs to be more, my Lord and Savior. And what has life been since then? Just better. Just better. So, based on your profession of faith, we baptize in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Come on up, friend! So, now, Jim has a story, alright? So he accepted faith when he was 16. So, Jim, was that like three years ago for you, friend? Is that right? Yeah. It's about right, it's about right. Oh, add, a, add a couple digits. Alright, uh, so... Jim accepted the faith um, when he was 16, but obviously there's been some time between now and then. And you see, guys, we do baptism not because it makes you a believer, but because it is what Christ commanded and what he asked for. This is obedience. This is doing what he want, being the symbol, showing the symbols of what Christ has done in our lives. And so, I don't know necessarily what got us to this point right here today. But Jim is a good man, and he has a great story, guys. And if you guys just want to hear an amazing story of life, just... Talk to him. He's got stories upon stories. <laughs> mountains of stories. But Jim, based on your obedience and your profession of faith, we baptize in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> We're really excited, guys. Today, these are all the prepared people. But God has tugged on some more hearts, and we're going to hear about both stories right now. All right. Well, next we have Dylan Baker. He's going to come on up. And Dylan will tell you that for most of his life, probably as long as he can remember, his family has gone to church. Um, and like Joel has said, and like a few other people have said in their testimony, that doesn't necessarily make you a Christian, make you a believer. Uh, and it was about a year ago when his family was going through a hard time where he personally realized 
his great deep need for Jesus Christ. And so today, he's coming forward to just continue in that expression to declare to us, hey, I need Jesus. That's why I'm here at church. So Dylan, it's my privilege and Eric's and all of our privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Next, we have Claire Sharp. Now, Claire, again, family been at church for a long time. She's grown up in the church. And her testimony is that when she was nine, she realized her personal need for Jesus Christ. And since then, over the last few years, that relationship has just developed and blossomed to this point where she says, hey, this is the next thing for me in my personal walk with Jesus. So with that testimony, Claire, it's our honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Next, we have Rory Seamer. And again, this is awesome because her family is, is, a, is one of our family, uh, the Seamers, they, they've been here as long as I know. Um, and she's grown up in the church, probably born in the church. Um, and she will tell you that when she was five years old is when she accepted Christ. Uh, and she's been, she's been to the baptism class. She's been talking with Miss Amanda. Um, learning what does baptism mean, that it's a symbol of what, what God's doing on the inside, how it's an expression of her personal relationship with Jesus. And she realizes today... While she might have been hesitant before, today she realizes, hey, this is what's next in my obedience and fallen Christ. So, Rory, with that testimony, we baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> and then last, but certainly not least, we have Dolores Peters. <laughs> Now, when Dolores came to Pathway, she came, and she'll tell you this, she came broken. Um, just just everything going on in her world just seeming to fall apart, and she would tell you that. And, and she realized that in that brokenness, what was missing was, was Jesus Christ in her own life. And, and this, this has been about a year, a year ago that, that this came to realization. And so... Making that decision to accept Christ, to invite him into her life, she joins us today to just be obedient in that next step, um, to declare to us, hey, I am a follower of Jesus, I'm a disciple. And so, Dolores, it's our great honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Will you guys give one last big cheer and applause for everyone who's been baptized today? All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, the party is not over yet. There is food over near in the shade there, so if you're pasty like me and need some shade and some grub, that's a two-for-one deal. That being said, guys, happy. He is risen. Wow. Yeah, that was really awful. Can you do that louder? One more time. He is risen! All right, let's pray and end this thing. Dear Father, Lord, thank you for your name, for your glory. Thank you for a beautiful Easter. Thank you for family and friends. God, all this we owe to you. For your name, for your glory. Amen.